All right, now with your data, we're going to go to Insert at the top and go to Charts, and you're going to insert a scatter chart. No line connected, not yet. Hopefully your graph comes up with nothing on it. Even if it comes up with something on it and it's, it's not uh, plotted correctly, you'll right-click the graph. You're going to go to Select Data, and you can delete any legends. You can click it and hit Remove to get rid of anything so yours starts off blank like this. Now we're going to add the series name. The series name becomes the chart title. Without using an equal sign, you will type time versus concentration. Your dependent variable versus the independent variable. Your x values, you click the equal sign next to the backspace. And you will highlight your independent variable variables. In this case, it's the concentration. The time uh, until the x was obscured is the dependent variable that goes on the vertical axis. And then you click OK. OK again. Now clicking the chart should bring up this green plus sign, the chart elements. You're going to have axis titles. The axis title is descriptive and it includes a unit. So along the independent uh, axis, you'll title it concentration of sodium biosulfate and units. These are this is uh, molarity units moles per liter moles per cubic decimeter. And the vertical axis is time until x was obscured and units of seconds. OK, and one more thing before we can put this into the Word document, just make sure your titles are centered. You'll go again to Chart Elements. Don't click on the trend line quite yet. Go to this arrow to the side, More Options, and then click the vertical green bars. And what you're going to do for your graph is you're going to decide what the trend, what type of trend line it should be. So you're going to click through all of the options and you're going to choose a line, a, a trend line that best fits your data. Ideally, all of the data points will lie along the line, but if that doesn't happen, it, almost all of the data points should lie along the line. So for my graph, if I'm looking here, clicking through, seeing what gives the best fit for my data. And it really looks like the power equation is the best fit. Almost all of the data points lie on the line with the exception of this one. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to scroll down and display equation on chart. I'm going to move this up off the line so I can actually see it. And it's very small. I will highlight the uh, equation and I'll make the font larger. So that's the equation for this line of best fit. And now I'm going to go click with the graph selected. I'm not going to snip this into the Word document. Instead, I'm going to go Control C to copy it. I click, I hold Control and C simultaneously, and you should see your cursor change. I go back into the Word document and I go Control V. And you can center using the Word formatting. You can center your graph, it looks really nice. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and hopefully you found this helpful.